Hi guys. So <clears throat> I'm part of Lifebook 2014 this year and are trying to catch up on the pages before I have surgery and the page I'm working on is week 13 I think and it involves some image transfer and I really don't want to go out and buy any supplies right now and it involves buying a certain product I don't want to buy so I'm gonna also try not to go to the coffee shop and go make laser copies I have a desk jet printer so um, I, I took this picture a while back so I'm gonna try transferring that image using my desk jet printer printout on a painted surface I just saw Claudine Helmuth do a image transfer with gesso that I think I'm going to try with some clear gesso. I don't know if it's going to work. It might not work. And we'll also, I think, try it with um, gel medium. And um, this is just watercolor paper, Strathmore watercolor paper. I've actually turned it to the back side, which is smoother than the other side, because um, I think I'll get a better copy. I'm going to paint the surface first. I have some, obviously, some turquoise, some Naples yellow, and some white. And I'm just going to paint the surface and let it dry, and I'll be back. Okay, once the background color was dry, I put down a thick coat of clear gesso. Then I put my image down, face down, into the gesso and pushed it in. And now we need to let it dry completely. And then I guess we'll see if this works. And you rub off the paper just like you do with the gel medium. I don't know. I guess we'll try. I might be just making a hot mess, but I guess we'll find out. All right, I'll... Be back okay, I had st um, stood it up on its side and leaned it against my gesso bottle so I could blow my dryer at it and not have to stand here. That was probably a mistake right away because I see some of the ink coming out and running. Um, so I'll put it down flat. I don't know. I, like I said, we could be just making a hot mess, but I guess we'll find out. I'll okay, guys. So I think it's dry or mostly dry. And like I said before, I might just be making a big old hot mess, but let's see. So now you're supposed to spritz it with water. I will tell you that as the gesso was drying and oozing out the edges, um, it, there did seem to be some ink on it from the printer, so I don't know. I don't know. I guess we'll find out if anything transferred. I guess it did. The one trick with this that I know from previous experience, like right here, I that was either not dry or I rubbed too hard. Whoops. And see, that was not dry either. So that's why you need to maybe let it dry completely. But look at these areas where the paper's coming off. And you can tell it's coming off because I used a recycled piece of paper with stuff on the back already. Something from work cleaning up my bag and I had a bunch of papers and didn't need in there. You can definitely see, see where the gesso was still wet. I would probably do, Claudine said that she would let the um, gesso dry overnight, although in her video she did use a heat gun, and she, but she did emphasize that you need to make sure it's really dry. I, I agree with that. Let's see how much of this I can get off. And I guess we'll find out where the where the gesso is still wet. Let me dump some of this into the trash. I know from my previous experiments into image transfer, this is like a totally messy process, just so you guys know. I think no matter what, if you use gel medium or I didn't know you could use gesso. Well, that's kind of cool, and it's cheaper than gel medium. I wanted to try this on a scrap before I did it in my life book. Yeah, see there, it's wet still. This 
most definitely leaving the image of the seaweed behind. Which is what I wanted. See there, it's wet still. Okay, so lesson learned. When she says you really need to let the gesso dry, you need to let the gesso dry. <laughs> but it worked. There where the gesso was dry, it definitely worked. Now, did I lose some Christmas crispness of the image? Well, yeah, I did a little bit. But I think part of that is because I didn't let it dry all the way. Because see here up here it was dry. And you can get, you see a lot of the image there. So okay, that worked. I just didn't want to have to go out and buy a whole huge pack of tap paper when I may only use one or two sheets. I don't do that much image transfer as a general rule. Okay, so it does work. So I'm gonna try that now in my life book. This time I'll let it dry completely. I'm okay with it if it turns out a little bit blurry. I think the more of the backing paper that you get off of here, the clearer the image will be. But you should really let things dry. Anyway, give it a shot. See what you think. Let me know. All right. See you later. Don't forget to go out and do something nice for yourself today. Bye. Okay, I'm holding the camera instead of having it mounted on the tripod, but I wanted to show you this piece. Um, I will go over into the light. Um, this is the piece that you just saw. It's dried for quite a while, and yet when I still get it wet, big chunks and pieces still come off. I would not call this a success. I'd definitely call it an epic failure. While some of the image did transfer, you can see, I don't know that that's clear enough to do anything with. I think it's a big old hot mess. So, still on the search for the easiest, clearest, quickest way to do image transfer. Uh, honestly, without buying a bunch of new stuff. Um, you know, collage is just easier, I think. Anyway, that's one experiment that did not work. So if you have any better ideas, um, maybe a way that you do image transfer that works for you, leave it in the comments below, and I'll give it a shot, and I'll film another one of these, and, and we'll see, you know, which one works. Um, the hand sanitizing gel... Um, one does kind of work. I, I did that last year. I don't know that I filmed it. I think I just took pictures, but, um, it, it, maybe I'll include that in another video, but we'll see. But anyway, if you have any ideas of ones that work for you, let me know. Um, 
but this one is definitely an epic failure. I don't know if it was the kind of paint that I used or, you know, I don't know. But anyway, it didn't work for me. All right, don't forget to go out today and do something nice for yourself. You deserve it. I'll see you later. Bye.